let this be the world you begin living in. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with God Him by saying words. Today. My name is Andrew Hemstraw. Thank you for joining Holy us. Ghost, if this is your first time here, today. make sure you subscribe. If this isn't your first time here the and these Father messages are blessing heaven. you, then Jesus consider becoming right. a partner with us. Proverbs chapter 4 and verse 20. My son, attend to my words, incline thine ear into my sayings. Let them not depart from thy sight. Keep them in the midst of thine heart, for they are life to those that find them and health to all their flesh. So here we can see that his word is life, but you have to find it. It's something found. I have found this thing that is life to me. It's life to my flesh it's life to my finances it's life to me his words are life they give life to me health healing youth renewal and prosperity are all in his words that are life to me but i've found them a lot of people haven't found them yet and that's what we're going to be talking about tonight because if you can find it you can have it well i walk in a brand new world it's not a world i used to live in but it's a world i live in now and it's a world made out of words words that i've found words that i've begun to walk in with the holy ghost who is the living God who is the one who spoke these words originally and I found it I found the life in those words and it is with him walking with him knowing him as God in the earth this is my life and I found it speaking his word has completely transformed my life now you don't get there by just saying one thing one time and we're gonna we're gonna be talking about that but if you want your life completely changed I will show you exactly how to do it I have found it and you can too it's not something that's being hidden from you it's just hidden it's just hidden you have to find it you have to put some effort into it if you haven't come to this place yet like those things you just heard me say that the Holy Ghost is God and we walk with him by saying words if you haven't come to this place yet you simply haven't found it yet finding success second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture the scripture is of any private interpretation meaning it's not just private for this one person it's for everybody verse 21 for the prophecy the scripture came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of god spake as they were moved by the holy ghost so these scriptures came by holy men of god of holy men of old speaking say speaking as they were moved by the Holy Ghost they are the spoken word of God they've already been spoken that's how we got them here these are words of God that God himself the Holy Ghost spoke and released his faith released his power released his ability in those words that he spoke it's of no private interpretation meaning it's available the things he already spoke is available to everyone a lot of people haven't found this out yet they haven't figured it out the Holy Ghost released his faith not your faith his faith in those words 
and he released enough faith listen he released enough faith in every one of those words to bring itself to pass in everyone's life no respect of persons no private interpretation enough for everyone to have it that verse of scripture manifest here's a good example of psalms 107 and verse 20. he sent his word and healed them and delivered them from their destructions now any person doesn't matter who you are can find the power in that verse of scripture and the faith and the ability in that verse of scripture and his word will heal them and deliver them god already released his faith no respect of persons it's already there so our job is to find it does this make sense heal any sickness any disease and deliver from any destruction the power is already latent in that verse of scripture you simply have to find it well i'm telling you that i have found it it is in those verses of scripture and you can live in it and walk in it with god the holy ghost in the earth today here's another good example deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 11 the lord shall give you houses full of all good things which thou didst not fill god when he spoke that released faith and power in that verse of scripture to give everyone houses full of all good things which they did not fill this is why it applies to you because god has already released his faith and power when he said that for every person that's why it applies to you you're an every person really doesn't matter where you're coming from in that it's that that will produce itself in you to him it's a it's a done deal it's as if it was already done as soon as he spoke it so shall it be but there's power in every word of god to bring itself to pass in your life if you find it and the way you find it is by saying it we all like to think that we're special or our circumstances are somehow special and so we try to view these verses in light of our ourself or our circumstances but this this verse of scripture isn't looking at you or your circumstances it simply produces itself regardless of your circumstances or who you are success is in the word itself it's not in your circumstances success is in the word itself you, you see how the the genius of god he doesn't leave it up to you being special he doesn't leave it up to your circumstances being being special he leaves it up to his word producing itself these are things you're going to have to find how are you going to figure it out by saying it joshua chapter 1 verse 8 this book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth but thou shalt meditate the word meditate literally means to mutter thou shalt mutter it day and night that thou mayest see to do according to all that is written therein for then thou shalt make thy way prosperous and then thou shalt have good success thou shalt have success if you mutter and say his word day and night did it say if he was good looking did he did he say if he thinks about it the right way it said none of that the only qualification here was that he would say it he would say it day and night that means you know in the daytime and then in the nighttime sometimes you have to clarify these things well that seems like saying the word a lot oh yeah that's saying the word a lot i'm telling you if you want to find the life that is in this word that will reproduce itself in your life this is the key what well, you want it some other way this is how you do it 
you have to say it and you say it now if somebody's gonna say the word day and light night that would be saying it and 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 I'm tired of saying it and 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 saying it it's not even night yet success is in the word itself not out here not in the circumstances success is in the word itself it's why he had him saying it he had to say it until he saw we're going to talk about that in a second what you what you end up seeing the word the word doing its thing in you will produce success every time the word doing its thing in you will produce success every time in everyone who will do what we just said you have to say it and you say it and you say it and as you're saying it it begins to do its thing well what's its thing well we'll talk a little bit about that but that's that's really not your thing you really don't even need to know the thing that it's doing other than it is doing something to you if you come away with that you will have something you will have found something that other people have no idea about I'm speaking in agreement with the Holy Ghost and as I'm speaking in the agreement with the Holy Ghost he is doing something his word is doing something to me it's transforming me it's literally transforming me into the thing I've been saying and it's no respecter of persons although I would say that the person that it respects the difference between is the one who says it and the one who doesn't say it so you have to learn how to let it the word do its thing in you on you and around you but mainly in you let me say that again you have to learn how to let it do its thing you can see that right holy ghost spoke words into the earth they're here now I'm told to say the word and say the word and say the word and as I'm saying the word it begins to do something it's producing something in me now I need to learn how to let it do its thing you could say you need to learn how to let it work its magic well are you willing to go here a lot of people aren't a lot of people just like to uh you know think about it a special way and uh, say the word a few times and look out here and expect it to do something I'm telling you from years and years and years of experience that's not how it works it does something to you it transforms you you are changed by the words that you're saying by the time the word does its thing you won't be the same person you ever see those uh, makeover shows sometimes you know they'll take like a burly gruff guy with with you know all he's got t-shirts and jeans and they take him in there and they you know they take all of his clothes out of his closet and they throw them all away and they give him new clothes and they shave him and they you know they give him a haircut and he you wouldn't even recognize him he looks like a completely different person you've seen this right success requires a complete makeover and this kind of success I'm talking about the word working on you is more than just a makeover it's actually causing you to become different you become a different person you become a different person that's what the Holy Ghost told me to tell you this evening you still have some rags left in your closet and you like them and you're comfortable with them some of you don't believe that it's God's will to heal you there's a 
thousand different reasons why people think that they're somehow disqualified from that but remember the word is no respecter of persons meaning that word will produce in you and it doesn't care who you are it doesn't care the sickness it doesn't care the circumstance God's word concerning prosperity will produce in you doesn't matter what your last name is or how you were brought up it will produce in you and some of you don't think or believe it's God's will to heal you or prosper you you can't see it yet you say something about healing and they just don't see it I understand I know where you're coming from I've been through this let the word the spoken word convert you convert you into what you say convert you into a believer one who believes it is God's will for you to be healed believes it is God's will for you to prosper let the spoken word the spoken word the spoken 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 word convert you into believing something that you didn't believe before not just lip service yes I believe in it no if you don't see it yet then you're not changed enough by that spoken word to see it as I'm speaking the Word of God it begins to change me and as I continue speaking the Word of God I begin to see it if I don't see it me being changed then I haven't spoken it enough to be changed to the person who sees it you first have to see it let him the Holy Ghost and his spoken word form that image on the inside of you you a healed person you a successful person you a prosperous person on the inside of you it will form as you speak it and you speak it until you do see it I'm trying to help you out here then you keep that image you keep that image before your eyes Proverbs chapter 4 verse 20 my son attend to my words incline thine ear into my sayings let them not depart from thine eyes and keep them in the midst of thine heart you'll begin to see it and then you have to keep it there I begin to see it I begin to see it as I'm saying by Jesus stripes I was healed I begin to see myself as by Jesus stripes I was healed and I have to keep it there does this make sense when I begin to say the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it I begin to see myself blessed of the Lord made rich and no sorrow added and I have to keep it there get that image get that image and keep it there you are using the word and his promises by speaking them they will form an image for you that you are to believe and see and keep before your eyes second corinthians chapter 3 verse 18 but we all with open face beholding as in a glass the glory of the lord are changed into the same image from glory to glory even as by the spirit of the lord or by the spirit lord well we know the spirit lord has already spoken the image he's already spoken that word and as you say that word you see that word and you're changed into that image that image that image that he's beginning to reveal to you you healed if I'm confessing a healing verse of Scripture are you still here if I'm confessing and confessing and confessing a healing verse of Scripture I will begin to see that image that he has released in his word and I'm changed into that image that's what I'm believing that's my faith if I'm confessing a prosperity scripture the blessing of the Lord makes me rich adds no sorrow with it I begin to see myself 
made rich no sorrow added that's the image and i'm changed into that image second peter chapter 1 verse 19 we also have a more sure word of prophecy whereunto you do well that you take heed as unto a light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the day star arises in your hearts well how long do i have to behold this image until it arises it begins to arise you begin to see it you begin to see yourself there that's your belief that's my belief you hold on to it you keep it before your eyes you keep it you hold on to it that's the real you that's the you that the Holy Ghost is turning you into now I'm gonna give you a tip say I see myself say I see myself healed I see myself prosperous I see myself successful I see myself wealthy well the first time you say it you won't it'll be just a little glimmer of an image but as you continue to say it you'll begin to see it more clearly because that's where you receive it is in the spirit first if you stop you can't have it if you continue it's certain for you it shall come to pass you've heard that right and it shall come to pass those are the words that the Holy Ghost has already said it shall come to pass they're the same words that he spoke in the beginning when he created the earth when he said light be same holy ghost same god released the same faith in those words when he said it shall come to pass now you say what god said you say and repeat his words and they come to pass so shall it be in your life same power is in there are you hearing this are you finding it you will go through many transformations as you say god's word and don't assume that you know what it's talking about so many people do this they'll confess a script verse of scripture and they think with their little religious noggin that they know what god's talking about don't confess it like you know what you're talking about confess it like you're being obedient to say god's word and let it do its work in your life you don't know what you're talking about he knows what he's talking about just say it and let it change you and as you're speaking you will see what you need to see listen as you are speaking it you will see what you need to see and you will go through many transformations to become that thing that he's showing you but all of which will culminate in you speaking his word out of your mouth and it coming to pass all of the things i've been talking about tonight will culminate in you speaking his word out your mouth and it coming to pass so shall it be well i'm not there yet i know you're not there yet have faith in the process the process is me being changed you have to have faith in the process the process changes you you don't see it yet you have to be changed enough to begin to see it and then you have to be changed some more to see it better i don't get it yet you will if you have faith in the process and you continue that's part of the change mark chapter 4 verse 26 and he said so is the kingdom of god as if a man should cast seed into the ground who does the casting of the seed the man this is how the kingdom of god works verse 27 and should here's the process and should 
sleep and rise night and day and the seed should spring and grow up he knows not how what's springing and growing up the seed well the seed is the word of god that you're saying the seed is the word and then the seed springs and grows up the seed is what begins to manifest and you see it but if you're not speaking it you can't see it so the process is you plant the seed by saying and it grows up into the thing said and he knows not how you don't have to know how you just have to be obedient to do it and day and night do it until it grows up and you can go i don't know how but it began to do it so there is hope for you remaking your world into his image one word at a time first timothy chapter 6 verse 17 trust in the living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy let this be the world you begin living in we serve a living god who gives us richly all things to enjoy let this be the world you begin living in let this word begin transforming your life let this be the image of you walking with him as god the living god in the earth today richly providing you with all things to enjoy this pleases him and it will most certainly please you the living god gives me richly all things to enjoy the living god i worship you holy ghost gives me richly all things to enjoy in this earth living god gives me richly all things to enjoy if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me holy ghost i worship you you are god in the earth today i walk with you in this earth by saying words I speak words of prosperity. I speak words of success. I speak words of healing and health. And I shall enter into the best because I walk with you and you're a great God. And I worship you and I thank you for it in Jesus' name. Jesus at his right hand. Holy Ghost, your God in the earth today. 